So we're going to look at this set of data with 6, 2, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5. And we're going to first of all start off by finding the mean. Now since we're year 10, we can start using formula. Okay, so we're going to step it up from year 9. So we're going to start by writing the formula for mean, which is x with a bar on top of it is equal to the sum of x all divided by n. Now that top, top line just simply means I add up all of the scores. Now you can just use your calculator for this and if I add them all up I'll find that I've got, um, so I'm going to do it in my head and I'll show you, I'm going to go 5 plus 5 is 10, 4 plus 6 is another 10, 4 plus 4 plus 2 is another 10, so that's 30, 33. So I'm going to say I've got 33. Oops. And how many numbers do I have there? I have 8. So 33 divided by 8, which I'd prefer to have that as a decimal in this case, which is going to be 4.125. So my mean is 4.125. Now my mode. My mode is always the most common result. So looking at my results, um, I can have a quick look and I can see there's a 4, a 4 and a 4 and there's three of those. There's two fives but m the mode would be mode would be equal to 4. Now, to find the median, the first thing I need to do is put the numbers in order from lowest to highest. So we'll start 2, 3, and I've got 3 lots of 4, 4, 4, 4. Sorry, I probably should put commas between these. 5, 5. Six. All right. Now, the median, with a small group, we can quite clearly see where the middle of our data is. Okay, so we put them in order and we can see that the middle of our data is halfway between the fourth and fifth result. But I guess just for practice sake, it's also important to be able to do it with the little formula. Now, the formula says we can find the median at... And I might just put it over here on the side. The n plus 1 over 2 result. What does that mean? It means how many results are there? There are 8 results. Add 1 divided by 2. So 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 divided by 2 is 4 and a half. So it says that my median is found at the 4 and a half result. So the four and a half result would be one, two, three, four and a half. So obviously it's in the same place. But when you have a big data set that can be a little bit easier to work out and when we use a graph also. Anywho, so we've got that our median sits between four and four. So that's pretty easy. It's, it's halfway between four and four which means it is four. Remember that if those two numbers weren't the same, we would need to add them up and divide by 2. So we would find the middle of those two numbers. Beautiful. And the last question asks for the range. Now the range is simply, I'll put it up here because I'm running out of space. The range is simply the maximum. So the range is the maximum, which equals 6. Subtract the minimum, which in this case is 2, which leaves me with 4. So that's how we do it with a nice small set of data.